Yo, what up? This your boy, Mr. Colin Park, and you tuned into A Black TV. Welcome back to A Black TV, man. I'm here with the legendary uh, super producer, Mr. Everything, Mr. Colin Park, man. Tell us, welcome to A Black TV. Tell us about yourself, bro. Uh, Mr. Colin Park, Colin Park Music. My two biggest uh, accomplishments, found of Yin Yang Twins and produce Yin Yang Twins and so forth. Definitely, man. So, like, tell us, like, what's some of your new acts and ventures that you're working on? Right you hear it in the back. Yeah. Trillian, Prince Rick, so I'll walk around the club, fuck everybody. A lot of people don't know that that's my group. They've been with me for about two years. And, um, we moved away from the, the kitty music, you know, and, um, we working with an all-new roster. We got Trillian and Prince Rick with the Uh Transley, which is my first lyrical artist that we really, really grooming. And we, we're grooming artists right now. So that's what we've been doing over the past couple of years. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. So, like, what's, um, I guess, some of your, the main goals, goals with your movement that you're taking on right now? Like, you got new artists. Uh, kind of like a little bit newer production. Like, what, what type of movie you trying to make? Well, speaking of production, my producer who did throw it off in the new trilogy record work, uh, Mr. Hank, that's an up and coming producer that we've been grooming. Um, really, what I'm doing right now, because I love this type of black music, real southern, real southern black music. And right now, it's like the indie label is the only hope for it right now because everything's so pop. RB is pop. Pop is pop, rap is pop. So right now, I still believe that black music can sell. Yeah, definitely. And I want to do the, 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 the black music that you play in the hole in the wall before it crosses over, before it goes top forty. So that's that's my goal right now to keep real black rap and hip hop alive. All right. What what some uh, I guess some of the uh, bad things going on in hip hop right now that you feel. I think it's all good right now because I think the, I think it's, it's it's coming back around. Yeah. See, I got a little age on me, so I was try call quest. You had to try call quest as well as poison playing, as well as blue, as well as ice cube, as well as far side. You had all that going on at one time back in the day, but now it's only one facet going at a time. When the kids had it, the kids had it. Yeah. When gangster rap had it, gangster rap had it. But now you see the mixture starting to come back. You see the Wiz Khalifa, you see the, uh, the Walker Flockers, you see the Kanye, you see the Wayne. So I think it's coming back around where, where, where real, the variety of hip hop, hip hop is coming back. Okay, speaking of, you mentioned Kanye, uh, were you a fan of the Watch the Throne album that recently dropped? You know what? I was in the gym when I first heard it. I was like, hey man, nothing caught my ear. To make me stop and say that out top, but I had to go back and listen to it. Yeah. And to, to appreciate it, you gotta sit down and listen to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so at the end of the day, I think I might put it into a great album category. I don't know if I if I'll ever put it into a classic category. Okay. That's like putting in the, the first Snoop album. Yeah, yeah. And even to this day, every every song on that album was Dang. incredible. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know if I made it put watch it from that, but it's definitely a good album. Okay, cool. Uh I know, I know if you listen to it, I know you heavy in the music, so you might buy out and part of four just leak. No, I, I, I heard it. I heard it. I still, I got young people around me. Yeah, so they had it. The, the hour it leaked. I heard how, it. how do you feel about something leaking like that early? And Sometimes that it helps. You know, if it's good product, like I feel like Wayne could have used a little more, a little help musically. Yeah. As far as the, the anticipation of the album, so I think if people like it, it helps. Okay. If, 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 if the word on the street is, man, I don't know, I don't know if it'll hurt, but it was okay. you know, it's because so much music is, is accessible now. I think people already had their mind made up that I'm going to get the money now. You know, so I don't think people, he has enough real fans that they're going to go buy it. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I guess, like, you know, anybody, that's trying to get into the music biz, and like I know you, you know you're not a rapper or a singer up front. You might do it on the low, but there's a lot of different uh, things you can do in the industry. What type of advice would you give to somebody who's trying to get up in? 
just like I'm in Charlotte with my group yeah. on a Friday afternoon. The grind, man. Right. You know, and, and, and you can sit here and try to tell Mr. Collie Park or Akon or L.A. Reed or whoever how dope you are. But now you have to show people. You know, because it's, it's too many other people who are out here grinding. If you ain't out here beating these streets, the internet presence, the music first and foremost. But there's so much more you got to put into it before you step to somebody talking about how dope you are. Yeah. You need to sign. I'm like, okay, why? Yeah. Oh, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the man with all the knowledge and I pick up the phone and say, man, you ever heard of uh, such and such? He's like, who? Yeah. You got to put the work in. All right, cool. Put the work in. Well, once again, man, we're here with Mr. Carla Park. I want to thank you, man, for giving this interview. I definitely expect it. Yeah. Yeah.